Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to this channel, this channel is all about exploring, learning new stuff, and sharing the best moment of my life. So this week, instead of wasting my time watching movies or just playing games, add me for a sec, Loki. My ears are sharp too. I decided to try out something new: mobile application development. Specifically, I want to make Android apps. A big disclaimer: since I couldn't buy Apple phones, I am going to stick with Android. I have tried my best to keep it as simple as possible. So, if you are a complete beginner or if you want to get started making Android apps, this video is for you. Before beginning this project, all I knew about app development was it was usually done in Java, and I required a tool called as Android Studio. But I was so wrong. We can make Android apps in two ways. One is native, and the other is cross-platform. The big difference between them is in native app development, we need to write separate line of code for Android or iOS apps. Like Java or Kotlin is used to write Android apps, whereas we use Swift for writing iOS apps. Due to this difficulty of writing separate lines of code to make apps in both Android or iOS, cross-platform was launched, like Flutter and React Native. In cross-platform, we can use the same code for both these Android and iOS platforms, but there are limitations. However, many improvements are being made in recent years. But in this video, I am going to use native app development because I know the basics of Java. So I thought of using Kotlin because both are similar. Goal of this video is to make a pranking calculator app within seven days, with which I could prank my friends. So the idea here is when I input random values like shoe size plus age minus date of birth into pin code number or any random number or expression, the answer will always be the person's phone number. For this to work, I need to first make a working proper calculator. Today's plan is to learn the basics about how Android Studio works and the difference between a Java and a Kotlin code. Okay, first thing I need to do is set up my Android Studio. So by the time my Studio downloads and installs, let's do a quick research about native app development. The main reason why I use Kotlin is because Kotlin is an open source, statically typed programming language, and it is very similar to Java. You can write less concise, error-free code as compared to Java, and it is great language for Android development. Okay, after two hours, I installed the software for developing apps, and this took a lot of time for me to install Android Studio. A big problem that I faced is you know figuring out how to install them, and Google Developer website helped me a lot on setting this up. Okay, that's it for day one, and I got to learn a lot of stuff during my first day itself. The main thing that I found is Java and Kotlin are much similar. You know, if Java is the parent, then Kotlin is actually the child of Java. For example, suppose we want to make a cake, then the tool like the oven, the pan is the software that is Android Studio. This software helps in making cakes which are our Android apps. The recipe or instruction on how to make this cake is a programming language that is Kotlin. These instruction will be fixed and the chef here is us, the programmers. That's it simple. 24 hours later Today's goal is to make my first Android app in Kotlin, but before that, let me show you how to make a sample one, a birthday card app. I found designing apps very easy because of the drag and drop feature in Android Studio. For this, what I need is the image and a text view. You can change the size, color, style, and do many things. And when I press this green button on top of the screen, the app runs. This app runs on a virtual device or emulator. Which has nothing to do with my smartphone because it is a whole new smartphone software which runs in my PC. How cool is that? Now I have built my first Android app. Happy birthday to me! And also I have shown you the basics of how Android Studio works, like the buttons, the layouts, the images, how we can add. So now what I am going to do is, you know, I am going to build another app, which is a calculator. And let's see, it is going to be challenging, but I want to definitely try that out. Now let's build our first calculator app. So this is the design that I am planning to build, and as you can see, I am very professional at my drawing skills. So please just ignore them. I need a text view and buttons. So if I have time, then I will do some visual polish and add some good features. By the way, if you want, you can also code in XML. Now you might be wondering what XML code is and how is it different from a Java or Kotlin code? Then XML code is used to design your apps, like adding buttons. Text, images, etc. That we just you know drag and drop. Whereas Java Kotlin code is used for logic building, like adding functionalities to these buttons or text. You know, let me demonstrate this to you with an example so that you can understand better. In our calculator app, there are two types of files. One end with XML and the other is a KT or Kotlin file. We design our app in the activity main .xml file. You can either code or drag and drop as I have shown before. 
But for this app, I am going to write code because sometimes writing code is way faster than the drag and drop feature. First I have to set the layout and I don't want to dive deep into it but if you are interested, I will leave links in the description of some resources that help me learn app development. Here I have used images instead of buttons because customizing buttons is little difficult as compared to images. So all the digits that you see like plus minus 0, 1, 2, 3 are all images that I got from Google and then there are two text views that are present. So when I run this app nothing happens because this is just a design of our app or you can say front end part of the app. Now let us move on to the main activity.kt file and write our Kotlin code to add functionalities to these buttons. To add functionality, we use a function called as onClickListener so that these buttons or images become clickable and then add input values like 1, 2, 3 into it. And after doing that, when I tried to run this app, something unexpected happened. My PC freezed because I tried to run emulator web browser and screen recorder all at once. So this was a very big problem and I had to force shut down my entire PC. That is when I decided to delete the emulator and use my smartphone itself. To use my smartphone all I need to do is use a data cable and then enable the USB debugging feature in my phone. And then also a friend of mine told me about sharing my smartphone screen through a software called as SCRCPY. I will leave a link in the description so if you want to check that out definitely check that out because this is really useful and now I can I could you know easily control my smartphone on my PC so that was really great. Okay, let's run our app and see whether all the buttons are working well. Yep, works good. So now I had to do operations like addition multiplication on this app and I really had no idea how to do so I asked the famous Mr. Google and Stack Overflow. So after doing some bit of research, I tried to code which turned out into a bug which again turned into another bug and I was like enough for today. On day 3, I was able to fix many bugs, but I could not spend enough time because my exam days were announced. So I thought of you know taking some days off or taking a break and continue this after my exams were over. After some coding, I was finally able to make a working calculator and the feeling was great. But now I had to move on to stage 3 which was the biggest challenge, building pranking app features. So this is how it works. When I long press the equal sign, I will be directed to a page that stores a phone number. For this to work, I have to learn a new concept called as intent. Intents basically act as a bridge between two components. Let's start by creating a new activity and then implement intents onto our app. Intents are one of the most important topics that you should master if you want to be an app developer. And since I didn't have much knowledge about intent, I had to go and try out different codes and see which works the traditional way. Now let's see whether my app is working. So long press equals. Yes guys, it's working and I'm very glad and happy. So again, what I need to do is, you know, design and add contacts list into this. So adding intent was seriously one of the biggest challenges that I faced because I could not find any solutions. Whenever I came with a solution, it was throwing up some error. And after hours of coding and debugging, I finally made it. Now the only thing that I had to do was to display the phone number when the equal sign is pressed in the calculator. This is the final app and I am very proud of myself. When I long press the equal button in my magic calculator and click show all contacts, it shows the list of contacts in my smartphone. Then select the contact number of the one who you want to prank and then go back to the calculator. Now enter random values or expressions. And when we click the equal button, the phone number will be displayed. The best thing that I liked about coding is the satisfaction that we get when our code works fine. And throughout this project, I got to learn a lot of new concepts and also face many difficulties. But it is necessary to be you know, consistent and try our best to solve these problems. 
and always remember to ask for help if you face any difficulties so that's when linkedin and twitter comes into play and also i will be uploading more videos in the coming week so don't forget to press the like button share this video and also subscribe to my channel that's it for this video guys i hope you find this video informative and fun and if you have an email address which is provided by the school or college then don't forget to watch the video that i made about the benefits that you can get from these mail ids take care and have a nice day guys thank you